Yeah. All right, here we go. Stephen West again here with Greg Ryder. Thank you for tuning in to video three. Video three. That means if you haven't seen video two or video one, you need to stop this video and go right now and click on the linky over here to video one, video two. Get caught up and then check us out right back here in video three. If you have already watched video one and video two, thank you for your time. Thank you for your attention. Appreciate you showing up today. Make sure you take really good notes because they're going to mean a lot to you later. And thank you for being here. Yeah, and, and again, if you've taken good notes, you're going to know that what we did in video one and video two is we talked about, we're talking about the five steps to a seven-figure year e-commerce mm -hmm. business. Step number one was? Throw it back to you. It was the, the why. why. Yes. Well, I always talk about the why is more important than the how. If you have a strong why, in this case, why should you be in e-commerce? A, because you're not insane and you do not want to miss out on one of the greatest opportunities in our lifetime to be involved in e-commerce. Completely change your life and build generational wealth. That means not just for you now, but for generations to come. And they probably don't live under a rock. Yeah, we talked about that. So you need to stop and go so see So step video number one is the why. Mm -hmm. E-commerce is hot. Barrier of entry is easy. You can get into it. Number two, the step number two was how. Now how? we established why you ought to be in commerce, tell me where I get started. How? There's a lot of ways to not do it. We talked about some of those and then there's the right ways. The niches and then the platforms, which is the where. There's the why, there's the how, and there's even the where. There's a where to do it. Right. Yep. And so today we're going to just keep following up with this sequence of training to get you to have all the information you need to make the best decision on where you're going to build a house. Because we talked about the platforms, we talked about the niches you can choose, and today we're going to say, okay, let's assume you got a niche. Let's assume you've chosen your platform. Now you got to market. Now you got to drive traffic. You got to find your hot, hungry market, and you got to get in front of them. And most of us use Facebook. A lot of people use more than Facebook. We're going to talk specifically about Facebook, and we're going to reveal some great information. Then we're going to go into demoing. T-Rex software and we're going to blow your mind and show you some stuff that you've never seen before in e-commerce that really, really is fantastic. So with that being said, no further ado, here we go. We're going to talk about the top strategies for e-commerce with Facebook marketing and Facebook. And without spending a lot of time on Facebook, the reason we love Facebook is Facebook, actually it's one of those love-hate relationships. Mm. Kind of like, you know. Like with Amazon and Google and a lot of big... I was kind of thinking you and me. That, that too. The love <laughs> and the hate. But no, here's the thing with Facebook. They track everything you do everywhere you go. Mm. And they create these little things called pixels. And people put pixels on their site so they can track when somebody clicks off Facebook and goes to your site, they can track conversions and they can crack, add the, track add to carts and things of that nature. But now think about this. Millions and millions and tens of millions of sites have Facebook pixels all over the place. So not only do they know what you're doing on Facebook, but they know what you're doing off Facebook. They know if you go to this site, then you go to Forbes.com or you go somewhere, they can track you. So from a marketing perspective, we love that because once we can identify who our target market is, 35 to 65 year old or, or 65 year old women that live in Virginia that drive a Chevrolet that mm -hmm. have a golden retriever, you really can target them like nothing ever seen before. It is yeah. the holy grail of marketing advertising. The days of let me put a radio ad, let me put something in the newspaper, let me do a TV ad. And and let me see my results come back in two, three, four, five weeks are gone. It's over. We can now put something up and within 10 hours, two hours, 24 hours, we can find out if we got winners or losers. So we're going to share with you that kind of stuff today. So the one thing I really want to start with when it comes to your product, your service, your pricing, no matter what it is you're marketing, that what is the number one step everyone forgets that is critical to your success? It's critical to eliminating losses. We all want to eliminate losses, right? We all want to eliminate losses. And here's the answer to that. It's real simple. It's testing. You should test first, build campaigns, build products, build things later. You always want to test first. And the reason you want to test first is because you don't know if the market wants to buy your stuff. I think I'm a brilliant guy. I think I'm a genius. But I'm only right half the time. And somebody said to me, would you have? Which <laughs> if you're right half the time, you're doing really good because most of the time we're not right, right? So we want the target market to tell right. us. So let me show you a case study on testing a design and we're going to walk you through an entire case study of how a design went to a product, went to male, went to female, and that helped drive exactly what campaigns, what products and stuff was built. So now you're looking on the screen. This is a case study of a design for a boot, which was done by one of our power sellers, Ken Anderson. So let me give credit where credit's due. Mm -hmm. Am amazing 
e-commerce marketers generate tens of millions of dollars of sales, trained countless guys to get into massive amounts of success. You start with testing. So they had some designs, they put three separate designs on the same boots and they put up a page post engagement ad on Facebook and they were targeting Texas mechanics. And they simply said, please comment below with one, two or three and help us find out which design works better. Now real quick, which design do you think won? Yeah, see that's why everything in business is a test. Don't assume you know, cause I would have bet the farm on one or two and I'm guessing I was wrong. Yes, you were wrong. It was number three. So now the number three was chosen and you know it's the map. They said, let's test three separate maps. So they got the Del Rio map, uh, the map of Dallas, and the map of Texas, the whole map. And they did the exact same ad, the exact same audience. But they asked them, okay, which design do you like again? Trying to figure out what map it was. And the winner is number two. So then once they got the, the, the right map, they said, okay, we have two separate badges. We have the round Texas mechanic badge and we have the kind of rectangular shaped Texas mechanic badge. And they ran another ad going, which badge do they like? And the winner is number two. All right, so now that we got the design, you need to figure out what product to launch it on. So they, they, they went through a couple tests, spent five or $10, each test and they go, okay, this is the design that this audience wants. Now let's put it on some running shoes, a backpack, some high tops and the boots and which product should they launch with? Now again, this is targeting men. So you you can you see a man stand there and you got man boots and that kind of stuff. So again, do you have any idea which one won this? I this mean, one? I would guess mechanics from Texas men would have picked the boots, but that's me. Dude, you're really hitting good. It was <sighs> the boots. The boots won. Sometimes but again, you pay for the engagement, you pay yeah. for the likes, you pay for the shares, and you kind of see what's going on. And then they said, wait a sec, well, we know there are women mechanics, mm -hmm. so let's see what the women want and let's do the same thing for the women. So without belaboring the point, the whole idea is testing. Right. Yeah. Right? And you said it earlier, it's like you have to test, test, test. And here's the point about this that I want to make, is we don't want you spending time building campaigns, building products, writing product descriptions, and all the stuff on the store e-commerce side until you've tested your designs, test your products on some ads. Now, if you have a store and you already got a lot of traffic, sure you can throw it in there and see if some people buy it, but if you're actually trying to drive traffic specifically to a product to buy that product, we want you to test those products and test those, those designs, the price, all that kind of stuff ahead of time, as well as you can do this with pricing. And what other kind of testing have you done? Anything outside of this box? You can test, test the images, like it, they, which way that the product was turned on the same Yep. Product style, just what image, or whether it was just the product or the product on a person, the lifestyle. You just mess play with the images. We're very visual. E-commerce is very visual driven, so mess with the colors and the, and the visual and the copy. And I, and I don't have time to go into whole optimization, but just to give you one concept real quick. So if you were to take a product and you're marketing this product and you could increase your sales because you did something different, a different color, a different picture, a different, a different angle and increased sales by 2%. And then you did something else with a different an orange button as opposed to a blue button and that increased 3% and you did this for 2% and after testing and always testing six months later, boy, now you've increased your conversion by 18%, which when you're driving lots of traffic is a, is a big, big, huge difference. So the point is again, test everything, test prices. Don't rely upon your great insights, my great insights. We always want to test our market. And here's the favorite saying that I learned. Find a hot, hungry market, find out what they want and give it to them. So when you think you have something, test it to see if they do want it. And sometimes you'll be surprised that the ugliest designs sell more than the best designs and the designs you thought were going to be hot are not hot or the products you thought were going to sell don't sell at all. So now let's move into the next thing, which is what? the perfect engaging and entertaining list building strategy since the beginning of time. Could you say that with like a little more energy? The perfect engaging and entertaining list building strategies since Ben Franklin <laughs> invented internet marketing. I got him to smile. Okay? <laughs> That's what it's about. It's about the energy. Mm. And why do we build a list? Because the money's in the list. List is an asset. You sell something today, you're broke tomorrow. Once you have an ad list of people that know you, love you, trust you, they keep coming back. They once said that it's one of the hardest times in history to acquire a new customer. But once you acquire the customer, then it's easier to continue to build that relationship 
and and get more repeat business. So to let, how do you find that repeat customer unless you have, or find anybody unless you have that list? No, and I want to reemphasize what you just said. Yeah. So in, in today's marketing, uh, I, I used to teach marketing years ago, and I had this whole thing that, the, that we used to have. Like back when I was a kid, we had like three flavors of Pop Tarts vanilla, chocolate, and strawberry. Now there's like 18 flavors, there's like 75 different kinds of, of, of cereal. So we have so many choices, the market's very confused out there, so it really is hard to get a customer. Once you get a customer, if you'll take the time and the energy and effort to treat that customer right, treat them with respect, give them value, go the extra mile, it's really easy to get them to buy, to get them to buy from you again. So that's one of the things we're always emphasizing in our e-commerce marketing and training is build relationship, build rapport, let the customers know who you are, what you're all about, what you stand for, service them, do great by them, and they will reward you handsomely through referrals, social media marketing, or social media sharing, that kind of stuff. So again, going back to list building, one of the best strategies that top power sellers use, seven-figure earners use, is they do contests. They offer things to win. So here's an example of a screenshot where the guys went to eBay and they found some people that were selling a officially licensed Seattle Seahawks, Seahawks crock pot. And they put together an ad going, hey, we're thinking of a number between one and 100. Comment below with your guess. The first person to win is, or guess this number is gonna win this Seattle Seahawks crock pot. Now obviously they have some products behind that in their funnel that they wanna sell that they know Seattle Seahawks fans may want. So that's where they're using this really good bait to get them to come over. Some people call that clickbait, right? Um, to get them to come over to do this. Now this particular one, they're using some cool technology with Facebook Messenger where they really weren't even asking them for an opt-in or driving them to a website. Just by making a comment below this post, they could then send a Facebook Messenger to their site. And here's my personal profile page. And I made a post on the page. You can see my Messenger pops up yeah. and it gives me a little pop-up and allows me to you know, communicate with them via Facebook Messenger. Amazing strategy, tons of people are using it, great engagement, cheap to do, and it's, it again gets them into that indoctrination series of communicating with you and what you're doing. Here's another example of an opt-in form with the same type of thing. Instead of using Facebook Messenger, you are driving them away to, let's say, a T-Rex page with your opt-in builder, and you got the crock pot there, they enter their name, their email address, Boom, they're entered into the contest. Then from there, you drop them off on a, maybe a page with some apparel, some clothes, some coffee mugs, something that's tied into the Seahawks, and yeah. you get the upsell right there. So now you're even monetizing, building a list, and monetizing what you're doing. And if you have any comments on any stuff. Yeah, quick comment. So it, 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 it can help if the, the thing that you're offering, the lead magnet or whatever you want to call it, the front end thing that they're trying to win is relevant to the back end offer. But let's be honest, it doesn't even have to be relevant. Do you remember in the good old days if you went into a bank to sign up for a checking account and give you a toaster? What do toasters have to do with checking accounts? Because human beings that need checking accounts also like toast. So it's just human beings, somebody that likes Seahawks, you may not want to offer them a Cowboys thing after that, but if they like a crock pot, they may also like a coffee mug or had, you know, it doesn't even have to be related. It can help if it's related, but it's just something, right? You're just right. trying to Well, what if you even. sold steaks and food like that? You know, food, you know. pot roast. So, but here's the other thing I want to point out too. So we're really, really big on teaching remarketing and retargeting. And that means we drop a Facebook pixel on their computer when they hit the website and now we can follow them around because it's, it's been said in sales for decades, you know, it takes five touches, seven touches, 10 touches for yeah, somebody to be associated with your brand or product to actually buy from you. So retargeting is one of the hottest marketing strategies out there. And of course, when you're in our community and you get our coaching and training, we do talk about remarketing. We teach you how this works, how you do it, and why you do it. So now here's another example that I get excited about because you don't know a lot about what we're doing other than T-Rex and, and Printex, our dropship facility, but we do believe in celebrity endorsements and we work with celebrities. We help celebrities build their brands online and we manage their e-commerce online. It's kind of a, a niche that we have, it's unique to us. And one of the celebrities we work with is named Nikki Lund. And Nikki actually is a fashion designer for the stars. She's created clothes for Carrie Underwood, Blake Shelton, Brad Paisley, Madonna, Lady Gaga, etc., etc., etc. Well, she made a jacket for Blake Shelton that he won on The Voice. I said, hey, why don't we make an extra one? Let's do a contest, get people to opt in to win, 
and we did this. We ran some Facebook ads. We didn't spend a lot of money. We got like 628 opt-ins and we mm -hmm. gave away a jacket. So again, we're getting impressions for a brand. And again, you just put this right on your T-Rex WordPress site and boom, you're set and you're going. And this is one of my favorite examples that I want to show you. Um, and this is one of those, this is one of those situations that's really unique and exclusive to T-Rex. So here's an example of putting an ad on Facebook, win a free San Diego State personalized mug. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hop off this PowerPoint for a second. I'm gonna take you to a live uh, Facebook page. Let me close. Okay, so here we are at one of our websites where we actually do licensed college apparel. And we're offering a free uh, personalized San Diego State um, you know, mug. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna type in my name and this can all be done with T-Rex and you can kind of customize this for whatever you're doing. I'm going to put in the year that I graduated and I'm going to enter my email. And when I hit submit, that's where the magic begins. So what happens is, is that's I've putting into our database, adding that person as a lead to our database. And this can do something that you've never seen before. It actually puts my name and the class that I graduated on the T-shirt. How cool is that? <clears throat> Now, in addition to that, it takes it and puts it on a black t-shirt with the colors reversed. In addition to that, it puts it on a ladies tank top and it also puts it on a coffee mug, puts it on a water bottle, puts it on a pillow. And again, you can do this with all of our print on demand products. You can use personalized exclusive to T-Rex. No, this no, is no, a it, differentiating. It is feature that nobody else has to be able to remember. I joked about you go get a, go get a checking account and, and get a toaster. Well, that works, but it works better if the offer is extremely relevant and personalized to where they just were. They just entered to win a coffee mug with their last name and their graduation year on it. And immediately they're served like products after you've already acquired the email. I mean, that's it's hard to not get excited about And we have about case that. studies and, and proof yeah. that you'd be amazed how many people just go, so we have a little line there as a thank you by entering, you can save 10% when you use coupon save 10 now. So people just go, I want this now, that's so yeah. cool. I gotta yeah. have this, they buy it and they go on. And yeah. again, that is exclusive to T-Rex and everything we've been showing you can be done on our T-Rex platform and do this kind of stuff. Okay, so we're going old school, right? I'm old school, yeah. Now you're old school. Yeah, afraid so. I earned this great hair. Which yeah, no, exactly. Mm -hmm. It makes you look really young. Thank you. Very Appreciate handsome. that. Yeah. Anyway, we're going old school. And this old school is based on the preface that long form sales copy always converts better than short form sales copy. And this was proven decades ago. Um, I can't remember the guy's name, it's blank in my mind, but, but copywriters and selling people and people that marketed in the 60s, the 70s, the 80s, this is proven over and over again in everything from magazines to golf clubs to you name it, cameras, it's been done. This is older than the internet, this is human nature because oh, they yeah, found wait. that offline when you, the longer you can keep somebody in a car dealership, the more likely they are. That's why they got nail salons and movies and coffee and popcorn, the longer you can keep you there. And a guy, I just told a true story, he told this on the stage at a marketing conference. When they told him, when he started selling cars, to grab the car keys from the prospect of their automobile and throw them on the roof of the dealership and tell them the only way they're leaving is in a new car. And he set a record that first month. And they were only kidding. They didn't mean for him to do it. So then they told him to stop doing it and he quit selling cars. But he literally, after they were just shocked by his audacity, they ended up normally buying a car. So, they go, so a long form sales letter is not quite as aggressive as throwing the keys on the roof, <laughs> awesome. but it is meant to keep them there as long as possible to build the engagement. That's awesome. Yeah, so thanks. here's an example of a long form sales copy that you can't do on Shopify, but you can do on Tier. Mm -hmm. You surely can't do this on Amazon, no, yeah. but a big full screen headline, save over 50% on our premium quality Texas Strong collection. You got some nice images there and I'm not gonna take you to this one live, but here's another one. So again, going back to Nikki Lund, our celebrity, I do wanna show you this live. So this is a long form sales page we put for a hoodie. Now this hoodie sells for $115. So let me go live on the internet with this and let me show you what's going on here. So again, big giant free shipping on our premium quality oversized fleece hoodie and some nice pictures both in front and back of a lifestyle photo of a girl wearing it. And then you scroll down a little bit. Now we have a headline, Nikki Lund, singer, songwriter, fashion designer to the stars. So now not only are we trying to sell the 
the the hoodie, but we're trying to get some brand recognition brand for story. Nikki and starting to get her story out there because no one in the in the public knows her. Only all the celebrity knows her because she's right. done all this stuff for all the celebrities. Then we got the one size fits all, another hood, another headline yeah. with a description of the hoodie, another great picture, and then I went and I went to the website and we literally have nothing but five stars for this hoodie. So I copy and pasted the five star re rewards to the left of some more pictures and I kept doing that. I got some real life pictures, some more lifestyle pictures, but with the five star reviews. And boy, the way this turns out great on mobile. This yeah. was designed yeah. for mobile. They're scrolling through this picture, copy, picture, copy, picture, copy. And then we ended with a great video that's actually Nikki on Extra TV talking about the hoodie and her line. So it's just beautiful. And then we said, okay, let's go ahead and throw in the credibility. Here's her celebrity clientele. And then of course we end with the money back guarantee and the hundred. This page was converting great. We were spending about 14 to $15 uh, for a customer acquisition cost to sell a $115 hoodie. Yeah. So I can tell you that that was very happy and we're still doing it's very, very, going very, very well. Okay. So, you know, wrapping up this whole long form yeah. sales copy, and those are just a few examples. I wish I had time to spend more with you, but that's gonna be involved in our in our training, our weekly training and all that kind of stuff. Because there's more templates, there's different things you can do, there's different strategies to do on a long form sales page. But we do know that this strategy makes your advertising more profitable. It really helps you convert more and do more with everything you're doing with your Facebook marketing, your Facebook advertising. Now what I want to move into is the number one strategy to make your advertising profitable in, you know, over and above what we just shared with you, and that is... The key to success is making it profitable, I wanted to say, <laughs> because people get wrapped around the axle, how much should I spend in a Facebook ads? That's a simple factor of if you're getting return on investment, then as much as humanly possible. If you're not making money, stop. If you're making money, if you, like you said, if you pay a dollar and get two, why don't you add a bunch of zeros to that? So that's the key is being profitable and being more profitable because when you've got more money coming back in to do more advertising, you can allow the rents repeat. So the answer to the question is how do you become more profitable for the same ad spend? More money for the same ad spend is funnels. We're going to talk a lot about funnels. Yep. And, and you know what? One of the things I think we forgot to really spend in some time on, I'm going to bring, briefly talk about it, is we're talking about somebody who has a, you're new and you want to get e-commerce, how do you drive traffic? Well, you go to Facebook and you buy traffic. You give Facebook money and they send visitors. So your goal is to give Facebook a dollar and Facebook sends you back three dollars. I want to give them a dollar, they give me three. I give them a dollar, they give me three. My cost of goods take up a dollar or a little bit more than a dollar and then I make some profit on that third dollar. So that that's the premise for what we're doing. Of course, we're gonna we train this in our membership area. We have training videos on this. So this is all part of the process is that you learn, okay, now I got a store, now I got products, now I know what my niche is, I'm gonna bring the products in and I'm gonna use the world's best software to increase my conversions and increase, use all the tools and techniques and tactics to make it all work for me and I'm gonna be spending on Facebook. So now I want to talk about the funnels and the one-click upsells. This is something that again we spent months creating for T-Rex and it is really unique to us. We're the only e-commerce platform that offers this and right here what I've, what I've got on the screen is whenever I'm creating a funnel I literally go into PowerPoint and I draw some boxes and some arrows and I kind of map it out in my mind. So I want to walk you through this so you can see my thought process. So I've got a kids white t-shirt that's gonna have a design on it and that design could be anything. And I'm gonna sell that t-shirt for $4.97 and I'm gonna also add on there $3.99 for shipping and handling and I break even on that, I don't make any money. So that's what I call my loss leader. So I'm gonna run ads to grandmothers with a nice t-shirt idea that's white for the kids that grandma might wanna buy. But then I'm gonna also offer a blue t-shirt and other colors of a t-shirt because black and other colors, are they sell more than white. Now I know that because of what we do. So what happens is, but those other color ones are not $4.97, they're $9.97 or $14.97. So regardless of that, the idea is to bring that loss leader in and then they go to checkout. And after they go to checkout, they're gonna go, hey, wait, before you go, we have these comfy critters and we have these really cool, um, like kids blankets that they pull over, and they, they wear them and they can be like a little Batman and stuff. And it's a cool comfy critter. And these normally are $20.95, but today we're gonna give you free shipping. Would you like to buy one of those? If they say yes and they buy that, add that to the cart, boom, one click, money comes in. Then I'm going to take them to another page going, hey, you might want a second comfy critter for 
because we're already shipping it to you. It's already coming. We'll sell you the next one. If they say no, we're going to go to the downsell and say, hey, how'd you like to get a matching shirt for mom or dad to match the same design that the kid had? So you see how I'm kind of tying it all together and we're trying to bring in this, this, this funnel and then they go to the thank you page. Now again, we have other tactics we want to implement. One is an exit pop. So you'll see the arrows coming from both checkout and from the main campaign page with an exit pop going, hey, save 15%. So if they're trying to leave the page, we're going to say, hey, here's your 15% coupon. And we're going to try to save that order. And then of course, if they get to checkout and they start to fill out the checkout system, we're going to get into a what's called a cart abandonment sequence. You would be amazed at how many people start to purchase something and they abandon their cart. The internet goes out, their phone runs out of juice, the phone rings, the kids call, something happens, and you don't want to lose that person. So what's really cool about T-Rex is we have a two-step checkout process. And in our two-step checkout process, the very first thing to do is put in their email. The minute they put in their email and then go to the next field, bam, we've added that email to a database so we can do a cart abandonment email sequence and then we go from there but it's just a great way to save orders with cart abandonment now if this is if this is you know funnels and you know internet marketing this is nothing new to you what is unique is how it's built into t-rex it's it's just automatically baked into the system it's so easy to set up these funnels and it's so easy to change them because we talked about testing how do you know what the back end offer ought to be you can test you can go but let me let's contrast that to the difference that's what professionals do is funnel amateurs may just start out with just the kids t-shirt that's all they know how to do now they want to make a profit on that first product and they price it way up there and you get no customers and they say I tried that e-commerce thing that didn't work if you've got a back end if you're willing to cut the cost to get a lot I know multi-million dollar companies that when they build funnels like that if they make money on the front end they fire everybody they're that big and I want to run at break even on the front end to acquire as many new customers as possible and then make the money on the back end because once you've covered the cost of acquiring a customer the back end sales are free money it that point it's free money and that's why the power of being a professional versus an amateur the customer acquisition cost is huge yeah. so now let me go and I want to show you guys a live demo yeah. um, of a heat changing golf mug and I, I'm super excited about this heat changing golf mug because I like golf my son was big time in golf he had with him he had the number one US based YouTube channel for golf mm -hmm. and so we kind of did this for his him and his brand called MTI so let me go ahead and watch let me watch you a, a live one click upsell funnel in action okay so I want to run you through live our heat changing golf coffee mug so this is a really super cool product it pulls lots of traffic off Facebook you know to when you advertise the golf fanatics and they see that the coffee gets poured in and reveals the the twelfth hole it's very very good um, very great video to pull people off and we can actually do this with any image you want. We can put any image on a heat changing golf mug. So I'm going to go ahead and add this to the cart. And again, this is going to be a live one click upsell. I'm going to go here to my robo form and I'm going to go to my identities and I'm going to go to test credit card. I'm going to hit fill the forms and it's going to fill in most of these forms for me. So let's see, I got to put my phone and it didn't put my address in. So let's do that. And USA, States, California, and I, I got two mugs there. I'm going to go back down to one cardholder name, Greg Ryder, and one, two, three on this test credit card, complete purchase. So now we're actually capturing the credit card, put them in the database, and confirm the order. Uh, instantly, we have an email that goes out, and boom, wait before you go. Would you like to get your matching famous golf hole pillowcase? And you can see we have the beautiful pillowcase here and we give them a choice of a diff uh, the same exact hole. And then they go, wow, that's cool. I think I'll take two of those. So I'm gonna say, yes, add this to my order. Now if they hit no, they would just keep going on. But I'll go ahead and add this to my order. Now what it's doing is it's capturing the credit card again and one click charge, one click upsell. They don't have to put their information in again. And now it's gonna say, wait a second, you just got the pillowcase, do you want a pillow insert? Well, heck, I didn't know I needed a pillow insert, but yep, I'm going to need two pillow inserts to go with those two pillowcases. So I'm going to hit add that to my order. And now it's adding that to my order. And again, that's the one click upsell. And now it's going to take me to another upsell. Hey, do you want to get a shirt to go with that? Well, I don't really care for the shirt. So I'll hit no thank you. And now it's going to take me to another upsell. 
And do I want the process travel mug? Trust the process travel mug. And I don't want that, so I'm gonna hit no thank you. So there we go, we got to the thank you page and there it is, everything's all there and it's just beautiful, fantastic. That's the one click upsells. So now let me take you into the back office and show you how easy it is to set that up. So this is what's exclusive to T-Rex and T-Rex, uh, so I'll go in here, T-Rex, I'm gonna go to funnels and in funnels, I'm gonna edit this famous golf hole color changing mug. I'm gonna hit edit. And once you have your pages and your products built, here's how easy it is. You just come here to a new funnel and you choose, okay, I want the 12th hole golf mug as the first product. Then they go to the cart. Then on the thank you page, I want the matching pillowcases. And then if they buy the pillowcases, I want them to go to the pillow insert. If they buy the pillow insert, I want them to go to the process the t-shirt. If they don't buy the pillow inserts, I want them to go to the t-shirt anyway. And then if I you know you just keep coming and you go five levels deep you just choose which product is the upsell the downsell the upsell the downsell so each product they buy you can maybe sell them something else more of something else and if let's say they don't buy the pillow inserts or the pillow cases you can take them straight to the t-shirt and then to the coffee mug so that's how easy so once i pick boom i pick these you know i just go boom 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 and i click them i hit update I now have just created a funnel that is exclusive to T-Rex. How cool is that? So I want to show you the, the funnel building and one-click upsells in the T-Rex software. So now how cool was that? If you thought that was like super cool, put a comment below right now. Like, did that wow you? I'd like to know your comments of what you thought of the one-click funnel. Go ahead, underneath this video, go ahead, type in your comments and let wow. me know what you're thinking. There's your first wow. The first right one. There. First There's one. your first one. Wow. No, again, you can't do that anywhere else. Okay, so here we are. So now take those four strategies we just shared with you, right? The list building, the engaging, the one-click funnels, the long-form sales pages, and it's almost guaranteed to increase your revenues three to 600%. And I know it sounds crazy, but I have other people in our community tell me not 600%, 12 times, like mm. 12 times more sales with a long form sales page and mm. the funnel and the revenues. It's really that significant. So it's something that you really got to consider. You really need to implement these things. And again, these are the things that the average e-commerce person never hears and never gets to learn about, never does because we are experts in this field. And again, our job is to help you succeed because when you succeed and you're ordering stuff through us and you're with our community, we succeed. So we're really committed to that. Now I want to go into step number five. And this is something I know you're really big about. We've had other people in our community that don't really care about it, which is okay. Yeah. It's not, there's not, but it's building a brand and trying to build something that has more value. And, and I call it building brand equity. And brand equity really is the value of your brand in the mind of the consumer. And it's a function of how you make the consumer feel about your brand having one message, one vision, one brand. You know, and when we talk about fashion, you could talk about Tommy Hilfiger, you could talk about um, like uh, the, the women's fashion and the different lines. I'm not a big fashion person, but the idea is the brand in the fashion right. world, right? So we want you to do that. Now, I wanna just show you some real quick screenshots of what we've done for Nikki, because she's again, one of our celebrity clients. We create a beautiful visual appearance, beautiful photos, beautiful logo. Everything's very consistent in our color schemes. Mm -hmm. We did beautiful photo shoots. In this particular picture, you can see that not only did beautiful photo shoots, but we had them on a mannequin. And then we photoshopped out the mannequin and they just look fantastic. And everything we've done is with class and with perfection and with beauty and, and it's on brand. So here's hang tags and labels. And then our, photo, our, our advertising, our photography, everything was really nicely done, very simple, very elegant, white, black, all that kind of stuff. So it's so, it's so important that if you, if you really want to have a fashion line or a brand, anything on a brand, think about your brand, think about your logo, think about your packaging. And, 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 and our partner, Bert Ullman, who's arguably the biggest brand and fashion guy on the planet because he launched Jennifer Lopez's brand and Nicki Minaj and Adam Levine and he's partners with Tommy Hilfiger. He always says the customer has two experiences. The experience when they first come across you and buy from you, and the second experience is when they get the product from you. So we can help with that packaging, how that works, what, how they open it up, different things, and all that kind of stuff. So it's kind of a little bit off topic, but I did want you to know that we believe in that. We want to help people build brands and build wealth that way, and we can help facilitate that through uh, what we do with Printex and T-Rex. So now we've come to the point where I do want to show and I want to demonstrate what we call 
a complete done for you storefront. And what I mean a done for you storefront is we took the pain points, which go ahead and reiterate the pain points of building a store and putting the product in there, because you're good at that. I mean, you got a blank store when you get started. Whether you're on Amazon, Shopify, t rat you, you start and you're you're a little bit overwhelmed with the enormity of what, what do we even do? Where do I start? Well, wouldn't it help to be able to start with a store full of products? I dare you to find that in Amazon, Shopify, or any other platform. I guarantee this is the only place you're gonna find a store already full of tested and proven products that people People won't. It's been proven. Yep. So the idea is, and we talked about this, what if you could have a storefront built for you and all the products, all the campaigns, all the hard work, the hundreds of hours, the dozens of hours to get it up and going were done for you. So we did that in some really cool niches. So for instance, we have the Families and Grandmas Done For You store. And the Families and Grandmas Done For You store comes with collections for grandmas. It comes with collections for grandpas. It comes with collections for moms. It comes with collections for dads. It comes with collections for aunts. It comes with collections for uncles, babies, pet owners. And again, every collection has multiple products and lots of them come with personalized stuff. So I love my dog, Jack. If they type in their dog's name here. My name, dog's name is not Jack, so now what I do. What's your dog's name? Juno. Well, you would type Juno there, you'd hit search, and it's and going it to right find it. And then it's oh, going to put your yeah. dog's name on the hoodie. It's going to put your dog's name on the pillow. It's going to put your dog's name on the koozie. And it could be canvas art. It could be a wine glass. It, there's all kinds it of things you can do with this stuff and personalize the products and stuff you're working on. And there's your pop-up. I went to leave the website, and boom, it's asking me, wait, before you go, save 10% on your order. And you'd be surprised at how many people this tips them over. It tips them over. Good point about to never assume that your market is like you. I, I don't respond to those things, but everybody I talk to, everybody else does. That's why I should never assume my market <laughs> is like me because those work. You're absolutely right. Those work. And if I did it based on what I liked, I, I would not be able to retain those customers on page. So. so again, this whole complete done for you storefront is kind of like our easy button for you. So we're taking a lot of the setup yeah. fee into it. We're taking all the hard work out of it and we're giving you an e-commerce store that has all these different products. And let me show you another one that's kind of cool. And it's called Mugs Galore. And it's a mug store. And this mug store comes with over 750 different mugs. All the artwork done, all the campaigns built, all the product built, everything from political to Christmas to moms to dads to grandparents, you name it, it's in there. And why would you want to have a mug store? Because Come winter time, now people buy mugs and coffee mugs all the time. They're a great gift, people are always buying gifts. But come Christmas time, in the winter time, mug sales skyrocket like a vertical going up and then they start to back off coming into February, March, April. It is amazing because people buy a lot of coffee mugs at Christmas time and again, it's a way to get a customer in there. Maybe you already have a tea shop or a coffee shop and a mug store would work for you. So super cool and again, we do have coffee mugs that allow personalization. So it's just another fantastic option for you with our done for you stores. And now let me show with you a done for you store that's it's different. And this is for the team mom. Now, with you having five kids, is your is your is your wife active as a team mom oh, yeah. in the PTAs Absolutely. at the schools all that kind of yeah. stuff? So there's a lot of people out there and then the moms that are kind of like that, right? And they don't necessarily want to sit and learn Facebook advertising and, and, and run traffic. Let me ask you this. How was I supposed to answer that question that's going all over there? Oh, no, my wife's horrible. She's not involved in the kids' life. What, what kind of question is that to ask? We're showing this to God and everybody on the Internet. Is your wife, oh, yeah, she's horrible. Great. Right? That was awesome, by the way. We need to leave that in there. Go ahead. I teach you. Yes. I teach you. Yeah. 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 How's your wife? Oh, she's horrible. I'm sorry you let the that. world know your wife's good. Sorry, so honey. You can, have your, you can have your wife watch this. So we have this thing called school zone gear. And the idea of school zone gear is you can create a storefront that has personalized products that the, that the kids can get for the teachers, the kids can get for the coaches and stuff like that. But more importantly, you can get the logos from the schools. It can be an official fundraiser for the high school, the middle schools, the grade school. So if I wanted to get a cool shirt or cool hat for my kids' high school, where do I get that? It, sometimes they have the, the, the sales through the sports teams, that kind of stuff, but there's really no store and it's, it's really hard for them. They gotta go to the local screen printer, they gotta get the orders, they gotta do this, they gotta inventory, it's gotta be stored here. This is all drop shipped, all yeah. done for you. So this is another done for you solution that's for that real active person in the community 
that really wants to have things happen. And traditional fundraisers are very one-time focus. They, 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 this is a perpetual fundraiser. This is something that always keeps them in the game and the customizable. So it's one thing to have the, the school's logo. It's another thing to have your seniors all upload their their senior pitcher and their baseball uniform on their hoodie or something. Oh, I mean, yeah. the personalization of this stuff it takes it to another level. Well, with schools and small yeah. colleges and things like that, yes. everyone's passionate and they yeah. have an affinity towards that. And maybe it's the cheerleaders, maybe it's the basketball team, it's maybe it's the softball club, maybe it's the soccer club, and it's on and on and on and on. So this literally puts you in the apparel, fashion, merchandise business, yeah. and you never have to touch anything. And I know I haven't explained that fully, but it's coming right. up here really quick. Yeah. And so I just want to ask you a question, like, what is your time worth? Like if, if, if you say, I'm in, I'm convinced that e-commerce is great, I want to go down this business, I like the idea of having a business I can do anywhere in the world so I got an internet connection. And I love the fact that there's a physical product, there's real products, it's not like a, an information product, it's a real product, real tangible. And you want this, what is your time worth? Like if you wanted to go source all the products that we can offer mm. you, if you wanted to go find uh, the products, find the vendors, fill out the vendor agreements and, start, and build the store, what's that worth to you, right? How long would it take you? How long would it take you? I mean, you've done it. I know For you've done a, it. a newbie without the training, literally forever. I mean, they would just stumble and bumble. I mean, you've got to be, have a very strategic way to do that and it still takes a long time even with the right training. I mean, yep. weeks and months. So we think that's a fantastic solution that we're offering and what this, the, what this training in the series is all about is to expose and share people who we are, what we're all about, and, 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 and see if we can help get you in the e-commerce business. And we thought to ourselves, hey, if we're going to do this, let's, let's, let's take it to another level. And you saw the three done for yous. Well, I have a secret that no one knows. And that is, we've been secretly behind the scenes creating more done for yous in mm. other verticals that are super hot niches. But wait. There, there's but, more. Wait, there's more, right? <laughs> so I, I, I ask you guys, you know, we call it the T-Rex Mega Store, but I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself. So I want you to ask yourself, and, and you don't need to put any numbers below, just think to yourself, mm -hmm. what is it worth to you if you could have a business set up for you, fully funded, fully stocked? We have hundreds of thousands of products in our warehouse. You don't ever have to pay for it until after you sell it. What would that be worth to you? To have a website built, the e-commerce store, the product, what would that be worth? Think about that number because I, I want you to try to put a value on that. Can I help? Because some people have trouble putting a value on things if they're new. Now, there's people here maybe thinking, oh, we've talked a lot about these rock stars in e-commerce. They're six figures a month and seven figures a year. Maybe that seems small to some. Maybe y'all aspire to be seven and eight. I don't know. You can do that here. What would that be worth to you to give you a chance? But what if somebody's thinking, I I'm not interested in six and seven. I think you could change my life with just four figures a month and five figures a year, either supplementing an existing income or replacing an existing income and a dead-end job. What would that be worth? That could be life-changing in exactly. and of itself. Or making a car payment, making an insurance payment. Doing making, something making, more than making yeah. the minimum credit card payment, which if you do that math will take the next 38 years to pay that off. Absolutely. Yeah. So, so now, take that done for you thing and say, okay, we'll get you a done for you store, but let me just tie this all together for you. It's even better because the reason it's better is because our software is tied into our pick, pack, and fulfillment center that does print on demand, screen printing, embroidery, laser engraving, signs, banners, everything, and your orders automatically get sent to Printex. It's a complete white label solution. And I mean what I mean by white label is this is if, if I'm sending my orders to Randy at Printex. I don't want him sending them out from Printex. Mm -hmm. I want him sending out from my store to build my brand. Yeah. That's what we do. So when everything gets shipped out, your brand is on the labeling. We can do custom labeling, custom packaging. We can do inserts, yeah. what I call bounce back marketing. Yeah. And so Randy, and he already prints and ships millions of products a year. Yeah. Everything from aprons to leggings to canvas art to wine glasses. And this is the kind of stuff we showed you before. Randy does this and we're constantly, and I say Randy, I haven't introduced Randy. Randy is the CEO and he runs Printex for us. Yeah. Good, great guy from, from Hannibal, Missouri. And he's constantly adding new products so you have more products, leading edge products, chasing trend products that you can put in your store and have done it and it's a complete done for you. So again, we have all the inventory, we pay for the inventory, we house the inventory, we get your orders, we make it, 
we fulfill it, we ship it, we bill your credit card, and boom, you don't pay for it till after you sell it. And yet, with all that we have access to at Prendex, there is more. If you see something or realize an opportunity you want to do, and we don't have it yet, we, we can get it. It's just, it's, what would you ask me, what, what limits us to what we, could, we can fulfill? And you said, I think I said, our imagination. Our imagination, that's Our imagination right. is the only limitation at this point. No, and the, and the other thing is, one of the big FAQs that people ask us, well, I already have my product, can you do fulfillment on my product? Can you do what Amazon, fulfillment by Amazon does? Yes, so people okay. ship us stuff all the time. We have a very sophisticated software program. We put it in a numbered area. We know where your stuff is. We pick, pack, and fill your stuff for you, for your customers, and it's very, very affordable. All of our orders are fulfilled via the United States Postal Service, except for the global orders, because we do do global fulfillment. We have tracking numbers on everything, so you are provided with a tracking number for every customer, every product, no matter what the price point is. We give you a private dashboard for you to see your tracking orders and process, where they shipped, where that kind of stuff. We also give you preferred pricing. And you made the comment about whether you're, a lot of times in e-commerce, in, e in, in the world of supply and demand, if you sell a million shirts, and I only sell two shirts, who gets the better price <laughs> normally yeah, yeah. that's right. right the big dogs win so the rich get richer and the poor get poor because they're already positioned to get the better pricing so what we do Tutor. because we do this for thousands yeah. of people we give you preferred pricing everybody the same you don't have to climb your way up that ladder to a million shirts to get a good price and we just do flat rate shipping and make it right. simple easy to figure out that's usually between three to eight fifty per product and we do fulfillment on any of your products you source. And of course, I said we do global fulfillment. So that's why we really believe and are excited to share with you the idea that you can get into the e-commerce business, very low entry to barrier, have inventory of hundreds of thousands of products that you never pay for, have it shipped for you in your name, build your brand, and we do all the work. And then most importantly, we help you with the training and coaching. We're not gonna like throw you your done for you store and then have you go off on your own. We're gonna have onboarding calls, we're gonna have coaching calls, mentoring calls, and all that kind of stuff. So we're gonna wrap up today's video, and in the next video, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna share with you the three new done for you stores we've done, and we're gonna to talk to you about the T-Rex Mega Store. We're gonna take what I've already shown you, and we're gonna compound it. And when we compound this, it's gonna just blow your mind how many products, how many niches, how many hot niches that you can take your e-commerce store and your niche to, and we're gonna share with you how you can have one of these you guys have seen what we're doing. Super excited about this. I can't tell you how excited I am because we're doing something we've never done before. We have created the T-Rex Mega Store. So you know how we had the individual done for yous? We're creating the Mega Store. And the Mega Store is going to have all of the done for yous in one store. That's awesome. But like I said, I'm teasing you. Secretly, I've been working on three new done for yous and three other hot, amazing vertical niches along with a whole bunch of gifts and accessories. And in the next video, we're gonna share with you what those products are and how you can literally crush it this Christmas with, like you said, just one product can, can just change your life change this your life. Christmas. And it's But what be if fantastic. you don't know what that product is? That's why a mega store is so brilliant, because there's literally hundreds of products where you're gonna, you're gonna find some success, especially going into Q4. Everybody that's in retail and e-commerce, what do they talk about? Q4, going into the Christmas season, can can just change your life. It's it's easy to sell stuff at Christmas. Yes. Everybody's buying at Christmas time. You need to have your store up. We want it built for you. It's gonna be done for you. You're gonna put your logo up there. You're gonna pick your domain, and then you're gonna have the mega store with hundreds of products. I'm gonna show you that, and then we're gonna give you the training. We're gonna hold your hand. And we're gonna help you get launched so this Christmas season you can have your first quarter in the e-commerce space rocking. Yeah. And the time Absolutely it couldn't rocking. be better. That's amazing. T-Rex Ecom Mega Store. It's never been done before. Not all of these done for you stores, like we said, some of them we've already had, some are just we've been working on behind the scenes, all coming together with hundreds of products. We already talked about how big a deal it was to test and how one product can change your life. You're going to find something that's going to win because we're going to have hundreds of products, all the verticals, all the niches, and the timing. You know how big a deal it is in retail and e-commerce to be ready for the Christmas season? The timing couldn't be better. The opportunity couldn't be better to have access to these verticals, these done for you stores all these products the testing is done for you it's just time to get going and go live and all this work all this value all this time we put in all these rock stars have collaborated on this to bring this opportunity the timing couldn't be better i couldn't be more excited 
know, I think about this and I'm like, you know, for me as, as the owner of this and the work that we've done, our CTO's done, he's actually transformed this software mm -hmm. in the last six months, even though we already have a thousand customers. Mm -hmm. This is going to be amazing. This is going to be the talk of the town. I promise you every power seller out there that's crushing it in e-commerce, they will be talking about this because they don't know about this. Yeah. They haven't heard this yet. And they're like, what? One click upsells? Long form sales pages? And, and I'm telling you, you saw earlier how I created that one click upsell. You cannot create a funnel that fast at any other platform, any other app, anywhere, period. So, and the fact that it's tied into a back end of everything done for you, everything fulfilled, and you only pay for it after you sell it, is it ne it's never been done before. Never it's massive done. value. And the fact that we're gonna continue training. We are committed. Yeah. to your success. Without your success, we do not succeed. I want you to understand my vision and my goal. We're going to build a multi-million dollar company. We're actually working on building a billion dollar company. That's a yeah. whole other story. But I can tell you, I cannot do that if you don't succeed. Right. So we're here. So what I want you to do is leave your comments below. Leave your questions below. We'll answer your questions. Whatever you thought about this, share this on Facebook. Share it with somebody else. Let them know. And on September 20th, the next video will be mm. here and we will reveal to you the, the mega store, what's in it, these three new done for you verticals and how we've combined them all into one store and how you can have your very own store ready to go, up and going, your logo, your brand, ready for Christmas and you can crush it this Christmas like you've never done before. So I want to again, I want to say thank you very much for spending all this time with us. We really appreciate it. We know your time is valuable. I can't tell you from my heart how that makes me feel. But here's what I really want. I want you to have the opportunity to make a great decision and have one of these stores, and then I want to hear from you how well you did at this Christmas season. So keep your eyes peeled for September 20th. Make sure you whitelist our emails. Make sure you're looking for our emails. Put it on your calendar. Look for that because there's going to be a window of time where this is available. This mega store has never been offered before. Yeah. It's only created for this. And we will never sell. We, we, we're not going to sell it again. We're going to close the door. It's going to be up. Boom. And we're going to add a bunch of new people to our community. So again, I want to say thank you very much. Okay. So it, wrapping it up, do what I do. Wake up every day with an attitude of gratitude. Tell somebody you love me. You'll have a better day and we'll see you at the next video.